Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at creating a dynamic, almost, uh, content loader uh, with a fade effect. So the, the end result looks uh, somewhat like this. When we click on a particular link, it loads in an external page uh, using the jQuery load function. Uh, and we can click and actually um, choose different uh, menu options. Now this is only a quick demo, it, obviously when I click each button the same page keeps loading, uh, but that's because I've deleted the files associated with the uh, tutorial. Uh, but this is a quick demo of how it would work. So when we click home, we would have a home page up here. When we click portfolio, we would have the portfolio page that you can see, and the same with contact as well. So now these links are loaded in with a href, however instead of actually going ahead and refreshing the page and linking the user to another page, it just brings in this content here and we get this nice fade effect with it as well, like a fade in effect. So that's a quick demo of how it works. I'll go ahead and refresh the page and now that's blank and we can come over and start writing the code out in index.php. Now a few things to note, we're going to need to handle the clicks of the links from an external file. So we want to go ahead and create an external JavaScript file. But just before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the structure of our main page. Now I'm going to have um, an area uh, in my page that holds these links. So I'm going to create a div just here. And I'm going to call this, uh, let's just say menu top. Um, and inside, oh uh, no, in fact we don't really need to give it a uh, uh, place this in the div, it doesn't really matter. Um, let's just go ahead and just start to create some links. Uh, obviously it would be advisable to put it into a div if you were doing this. Um, and let's just set up our menu. So I've got a home and we've got portfolio and lastly we have contact. So we're using three pages and we're going to be loading the, these in dynamically as the user clicks on them. Now all these links need to belong to the same class so we can select it appropriately in jQuery. And that means that because we're going to create a, uh, an overall global class for these links, we can go ahead and add more a bit later if we need. Uh, so it's, it's as well as doing it um, like this, we're creating it in such a way that more links can be easily added later on uh, to load more content. And this means that uh, we don't have to create a lot of code to actually get the result we need. So uh, the href will sort out in just a moment, but for now we want to create these to a particular class. So I'm going to call this menu underscore top. So I'm going to do that for all my links and any other links that we're going to add uh, down here, which obviously we won't be doing for time purposes, uh, they're going to belong to the same class as well. So in jQuery what we can now do is select any class we want, uh, or sorry, any uh, menu item we want using this particular class. Now. The link uh, location is going to be a particular page. So this is going to be in a pages folder and I'm going to name them all appropriately. So uh, the first one's going to be home.php and then we're going to have portfolio.php and then we're going to have contact.php. Now I haven't actually created these files yet but I'm going to go ahead and create them in just a moment. Over in our browser you can see that we've now got our three links and they all link to this pages folder and then the appropriate name. Now what we don't want to happen is this to relocate us to the page itself but what we want is when we click on it we want to take this page here and apply it to the div that we're going to just be creating in a moment down here. So let's go ahead and create that div and this needs to have an ID, uh, it doesn't actually need to be, uh, it can all be on one line and I'm going to call this content content area. So we're going to place each of these files in content area when the link is clicked. So we need to do a few things uh, in jQuery to allow this to happen. Now before I do anything I'm going to go ahead and create these pages first. So let's go ahead and open a new page or a new file. Uh, the first one is home so I'm just going to say this is the home page uh, and I'll save that out Ooh. let's just save that uh, inside of here so I'm going to save that in a folder called pages and this is home.php so now we're creating each page that we've uh, linked to here 
uh, and we'll go ahead and take a look at this in just a moment so let's go ahead and create some header three tags this will be portfolio and then the paragraph will be this is my portfolio uh, we'll save that as portfolio.php and the last page is the contact page so we'll go ahead and a header with contact and then these are my contact details okay so let's just save that last page out as contact.php now we have all the pages set in the correct directory that uh, refer or relate to each of these links so now when we click on them we have the pages open like this now what we want to do is as I said earlier we want to load them into this particular div uh, that we've created here so we want to load this uh, href and this href when it's clicked and this href when it's clicked into this content area and what I mean is the contents of these pages 